All right, show on, show on. Giving all praises and honor and glory that is due to Yahweh by Shem Shai by Shem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me is true. Don't side taste to all your Akim, you brothers out there pushing this true. All right, with all righteousness and sincerity, show on to you, brothers. And all right, to the Alpha, the few sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say show on. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Lord willing to edify and defeat the guns in here, but I'll you shy praise and let's be edifying straight to the point. Alright, so we're going to read this article. This is from foxbusiness.com. It reads, Jamie Dimon warns of an economic hurricane coming. Brace yourselves, alright? Hey, the men of the Lord have been telling you, man, okay? Because they got to crash this old system out and bring forth a new system, man, which is going to be the digital system, right? That great recess, also known as the New World Order. Okay, so these devils, <laughs> they got to come with it, man. They got to crash this old system out. All right, all right. And of course, the uh, this is uh, this guy, Jamie Diamond. He is the CEO of J.P. Morgan. Okay, so hey, even they trembling. They know what's coming. They know there's a storm coming, man. Okay, all right. We told you that the storm was coming before. Okay, of evil times. Evil days, okay? So let's read a little bit of this article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. All right, then we're going to pull out some pretty sense and little wind. I pray it's nice to be and find a scratch to the point. All right, read under here. It says, J.P. Morgan CEO, brace yourself for coming economic trouble. All right, so hey, it's going to, hey, we warned you it's coming. And this is part of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, part of Jacob's trouble. Okay, let's read it. J.P. Morgan Chase. CEO Jamie Dimon warns, warned of a gloomy economic hurricane caused by an increasingly hawkish Federal Reserve rising inflationary pressure and the Russian invasion of the Ukraine. Okay, all right. Let's read on. It says, Dimon, who said at the beginning of May there were storms, clouds forming on the econ economic horizon, ratchet up his warning on Wednesday, citing fresh challenges face, facing the Fed as it seeks to tame the hottest inflation in a generation, okay? And that inflation is going to turn into hyperinflation, all right? You already see the price of gas going up, cost of food, okay? Baby formula shortages, food shortages, all right? People about to starve, okay? So... These are all troubles, man. Signs of Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 37 and Daniel 12 and 1. Okay. Rolling blackouts this summer. Okay. So this is all coming down the pipeline. Okay. I said there would I said there were storm clouds, but I'm going to change it. It's a hurricane. He said during a conference hosted by Alliance Bernstein Holders. Right now, it is kind of sunny. Things are doing fine. Everyone thinks the Fed can handle it. That hurricane is right out there down the road coming our way. We don't know if it's a minor one or a superstorm, Sandy. You better brace yourselves. And it's going to be a superstorm, Sandy, okay? All right? All right? This, hey, this uh economic hurricane is going to cause all kinds of things, man. Okay, the economy is going to crash. Okay, so hey, look, this is going to be one big one, man. Great tribulation such as never was since the world, since the world began. Let's get that scripture, okay? Because I kind of butchered it, so let's just go on and get it. Matthew 24 and verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Verse uh, 22, and it said, those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. The days are being shortened for the elect's sake. And things are rapidly speeding up, man, okay? A time like no other, okay? Let's go back to this article. Let's see what else we got in here. Man, it's just clear. It's lucky. Dang it. My bad. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right. Let's go back to where I was. I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> that was my fault. 
All right, let's see real a little bit more. It says, there are two main issues that Diamond said are worrying him. The Federal Reserve's moving to unwinding its $80.9 trillion balance sheet, deploying in a less known tool known as equivalent it tightening that will further tighten credit for U.S. households as officials try to tame red-hot inflation. The rundown of the Fed, Fed's portfolio is supposed to begin on Wednesday at an intentional back com combined monthly pace of $47.5 billion. The Fed will increase the run off rate to ninety five billion dollars by September, putting the central banks on track to reduce its balance sheet by about three trillion dollars over the next three years. And these devils think they got three years left, man. This place is on its way out, man. Okay? <laughs> this place ain't got three more years, four more years, seven more years. No, this place is on its way out. Okay, that's Esau's uh, you know, you know, intuition, like it tells you in uh, Psalms 49 and 11. His inward thought is that his house shall continue forever, man. Okay? And he calls the lands out of his own, own names, roughly paraphrasing, okay? So, <laughs> these devils think they got a long time to rule. Man, these devils' rulership is coming to an end. Okay? All right? Let's see what else we got in here. I'm going to go ahead and read the rest. Of, I'm going to read a little bit more. It says, we've never had... QT like this. So you're looking at something you could be writing written history books, writing history books for on for next for fifty years, Diamond says. The second matter weighed weighing on Diamond is Russia Ukraine war and its effects on the prices commodities like food and oil. The bank CEO said that oil could hit $150 or $175 a barrel as a result of the conflict which began in late February. Brent Cruel, the benchmark, is currently selling for $116 a barrel. And hey, gas prices are already going up, man. Okay? It jumped up, I think, about 10 or 30 cents more. Okay? Let's read on. War goes bad. Wars go bad, they go south, they have in unintended consequences. All right, and this is all going to lead to World War III, okay? Diamond com comments comes aim growing fears on Wall Street that the Feds may drag the economy into a recession as it seeks to tame inflation, which climbs by 8.3% in April. Near a 40-year high, Bank of America, as well as Fannie Mae and Deutsche Bank, are among the Wall Street's firm forecasting a downturn in the next two years, along with f former Fed Chairman Ben Ben Benark, whatever his name is. All right, and they put in three years on it. this place ain't got long. Okay, all right. Hey, these hey these people they trembling, man. Okay, let's get the scripture on that. All right, let's, let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, and I'm starting verse one. Remember now that I created in the days of thy youth, while the day while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Okay, so the evil days are not here yet, but we getting close. All right. We ain't evil days, but they ain't gotten real, real bad yet, man. All right? We're approaching the evil days, okay? But we're not in it yet. We're we're getting close, close, okay? So, hey, <laughs> it's going to get real, real bad out here, man, okay? And things ain't gotten real bad yet, okay? But it is getting bad enough, okay? Verse 2, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars... Be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Verse 3. In a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, 
and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. All right, these CEOs, all right, of these banks, all right, like you saw Deutsche Bank, uh, Bank of America, Fannie Mae, all right, hey, these keepers, they trembling, man, okay, they trembling because they see that this place is on its way out, man, they see that this economy is about to crash, they're about to lose everything, okay, they don't see no future, all right, verse 4, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the doors of music shall be brought low. Okay? So, there's no work, man. No work for Egypt, man, like it tells you. Let's get that. All right? Let's get that. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 15, I believe. Yep. Isaiah 19, 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail branch or rush may do. Okay? So, no more work for Egypt, man. Okay? Especially with the food shortages, man. All these restaurants that you people like to indulge in, they're going to soon close down, man. Why? Okay? Because they ain't got the uh, the ingredients to make their foods, man. Okay? So we're getting very, very close to this thing crashing, man. This place is on its way out. America is through. Okay? All right? Let's go to Jeremiah. All right? Jeremiah 50... Um, let's see. I'm gonna start at verse six. All right, points in verse eight, nine, but I'm gonna start at verse six. All right, Jeremiah 51 and verse six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. This place is about to get exactly what it deserves. All right, now you can't literally get on a plane and flee. All right. This means this spiritually detach yourself from this place, all right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Spiritually come out of this place. Put away the, the wickedness of this place, man. The philosophies, the ways of this place, man. Okay? Because this place is on its way out, all right? Verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the glory of Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her tape bomb for her pain is so she may be healed. This place will not be healed, man. It's not going to be healed. Okay? Verse 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaching unto heaven and is, and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay? The sins of this place have reached into the ears of the Lord Yahweh All right? And this place is about to receive double for what is done, especially to the children of Israel, man. All right, the Israelites, okay? All right. <clears throat> this is 2nd Israel chapter 70, verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immorality for to come wherein corruption is past. All right, so the, the day of doom shall be the end of what time? This is Esau's rulership. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that follows, man. Okay? So, hey, this place is on its way out, all right? And immorality is coming to the Israelites, man, the elect, okay? Well, hey, corruption is past. This corrupt, evil, wicked system that is ruled by Esau Edom is about to come to an end, man, all right? Let's read verse 44. Interpretance is at an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and truth is sprung up, all right, the truth is springing up, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, man, like it tells you in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14, this gospel shall be preached in all the world, all right, and then shall the end come, all right, roughly paraphrasing, and we're at the end of this place, man, we are at the end of this place, and nothing but dark days are coming, okay, Let's read Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Only the elect are going to escape 
out of this up and coming impending destruction. It's going to get so bad out here that Michael Allah, the archangel, is going to have to step in for his elect. Okay? When shit gets really bad out here, man. Okay? So, hey, we're close to the end. Okay? Let's go back to this article. Let's see what else in here. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Mm, I'm going to read a bit more. It says, policy makers raise the benchmark interest rates by 50, 50 basis points each slide early this month for the first time in two decades and has signaled that more some similarity size rates hikes are on the table at coming meetings as they rush to catch up with inflation, which they ain't going to catch up, man, okay? This place... <laughs> It's a, look, like it tells you, I mean, who, you know what? It reminds me of a scripture. Got to get it. Hold on. <laughs> right on time, man. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 13. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yep, yep, verse 13. Point. All right. Isaiah 30 and verse 13. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking coming suddenly in an instant. All right. Let's go to my blue letter Bible, man. Okay. And let's get this in the NLT. Okay. All right. <clears throat> let's go to Isaiah 30. Verse 13. All right. Let's get this in the NLT. Isaiah 30 and verse 13 in the NLT. Calamity will come upon you suddenly like a bulging wall that bursts and falls. In an instant, it will collapse and come crashing down. That's what's about to happen to this place, man. That's what's about to happen to this economy, okay? A bulging wall that is ready to burst and collapse, okay? And this economy is going to collapse, man, okay? And, they, hey, these devils want this economy to collapse, man. Why? So they can bring in their new digital system, their global reset. Okay? All right? Let's go back to that article. All right? Let's see. Anything else in here? Let me read a little bit more. It says, Federal Chairman Jerome Powell has acknowledged there could be some pain associated with reducing inflation and curbing demands by pushing back against the notion of an impending recession, identifying the labor market and stronger consumer spending as bright spot in the economy. Still, he has warned that a soft landing is not sure. All right. Uh, I'm gonna read this last paragraph. It's going to be a challenge, challenging task, and it's been made more challenging in the last couple of months because of global F global events Powell said Wednesday during a Wall Street Journal live event referring to the Ukraine war and the you see that the lockdowns in China but he added that there are a number of possible paths to have softened and softenish landing our job isn't to handicap the odds it is it's to try to achieve that, which they ain't going to do, okay? And I'll put this article in the description box, man. But there you go, all right? So, hey, <laughs> this place is on its way out, man, all right? And evil days are coming, all right? Let's read this. Just Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. <clears throat> Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Only the elect are going to be saved out of these times of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? Let's get this, and I'm going to read all the way down to verse 18. Because, hey, this place is on its way out, man. Zephaniah 1 and 10. And it shall come to pass that in that day, said the Lord Yahweh Yahshua, that there should be, a, should be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Okay? Let's see what this says in the NLT. All right, let's go to Zephaniah 1. All right. <clears throat> Zephaniah 1 and 10. 
Zephaniah 1 and 10. Let's read this. I'm going to stay here and read it. All right. Zephaniah 1 and 10. All right. On that day, says the Lord, Yahabashim Yahshai, a cry of an alarm will come from the fish gate and echo throughout the new quarter of the city, and a great crashing will sound from the hills. All right. This place is about to crash. This economy. Okay. All right. Let's read verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Meshach, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off, okay? And Meshach is a, a place where, you know, they did their business in Jerusalem, man. A merchant place, all right, where they did their business, all right, you know, the economy, okay? Roughly paraphrasing, all right? Let's read verse 11. Wait in sorrow, all you who live in the market area. For all the merchants and traders will be destroyed. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, that's what's coming to this place, man. Okay? That's why these devils are trembling. That's why we read Ecclesiastes chapter... Not Ecclesiastes, but Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 12 and verse 3 and 4. Okay? Because the keepers of the house, they're trembling, man. These economists and these CEOs, they're trembling. They're scared because they see the storm coming, man. But you Americans, you don't see it, man. Okay? Not even two-thirds of our own people, man. They don't see it, okay? But, hey, the elect see what's coming to this place. And it's not good, okay? Verse 12. It shall come to pass that at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their knees, that say in their hearts, The Lord Yahweh shall will not do evil, neither will he do evil. It's not like, will he do good, neither will he do evil, Okay? All right, let's read this in verse 12 in the NLT. I will search with lanterns in Jerusalem, darkness corners, to punish those who sit complacent in their sins. All right, and that's two thirds of the Israelites, man. Okay, so the Lord is searching, He's sifting, man. Sifting season. Okay, they think the Lord Yahweh will do nothing to them, neither good or bad. And hey, that's these Edomites, and that's two-thirds of our people, man. You're Israelites. You think this place is going to go on forever, man. Okay? Like it says, vegetables should be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and confusion. Okay? So, hey, confusion is about to come up on two-thirds of your Israelites. You're going to be wondering what the hell is going on, but you ain't going to have the answers, man. Okay? Because, hey, the prophets... I'm going to be gone real soon, man. Okay? All right? Let's read on. Verse 13. Therefore, their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Let's read this in the NLT. So their properties will be plundered. Their homes will be ransacked. All right? Hey, that's some home invasions that are coming real soon, man. All right, and they're already here. They're happening at some point, but it's going to be intense, okay? They will build new homes, but never live in them. They will plant vineyards, but never drink wine from them. Verse 4. For the great the great day of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahshua, is near. It is near and hasten greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahshua, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Let's read this in the NLT. That terrible day of the glory of is near. Swiftly it comes. A day of bitter tears. A day when every strong man will cry out. <laughs> hey, you see. That's why uh the guy, Jamie, Jamie Diamond, warns of an economic hurricane. These devils see what's coming and it's not going to end well. Okay? Verse 15. A day, that day is a day of wrath. A day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Let's read in verse 15 in the NLT. It will be a day when the Lord Yahweh's anger is poured out, a day of terrible distress and anguish, a day of ruin and desolation, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness. Hey. The day of the Lord, man, is anger, all right? The Lord Yahweh is coming back to do damage on this nation, man, 
all right, oh, especially on Esau, even so-called white man, okay, verse, verse 16, a day of Trump, a day of the trumpet, an alarm against the fenced city, and against the high towers, verse 16 in the NLT, a day of trumpet calls and battle cries down the walled cities and the strong, strongest battlements, verse 17, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Let's read this in the NLT. Because you have sinned against the Lord Yahweh I will make, I will make you grope like around like the blind. Your blood will be poured into the dust and your bodies will lie rotten in the ground. Okay? Death is coming, man. Death and destruction, judgment is coming to this place. Okay? Verse 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the glory of Hashem's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For his, for he shall make even a speedy remnant of all them that dwell in the land. Let's read this in the NLT. Your silver and Gold will not save you on that day of the Lord Yahweh's anger. All right, all this silver and all this gold, all this money that you rich people got, man. Okay, all right, it's not gonna prosper. You ain't gonna save you, man, from the day of the Lord Yahweh's wrath. Even these elites know this, man. These elites know this. All right, that's why they're gonna go and hide. All right, but hey. You devils can go to try to hide. That's why they spending all this money on these doom days bunkers, man. All right? A whole lot of money. I think it's, I think it's around about, about millions and billions of dollars, man. Them doom day bunkers ain't going to help you at least, man. Especially you ones here in America, man. Okay? You low level needs because this place is going to be utterly obliterated, man. When them ICBM nuclear missiles hit this place. So, <laughs> hey... <laughs> All you Edomites, you uh, these so-called low-level rich Edomites that's buying these doom days bunkers, it's just a waste of money, man. Because hey, two hundred million missiles, you think your doomsday bunkers gonna be able to survive? Survive in America? You can think again, man. Okay, this place is gonna be utterly burnt up, never to be inhabited again, man. Okay, this place is gonna be totally destroyed off the face of the earth. Okay. Verse 18 in the NLT. Your silver and gold will not save you on that day of the Lord Yahweh anger. For the whole land will be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. He will make a terrifying end of all the people on earth. Okay? And that's talking about Esau's nation. This is not literal all the people, man. Because, hey, only the elect is going to be saved, man. Okay? The elect is going to be saved out of this. Okay? Before the destruction. Two thirds of our people, okay, are gonna are gonna die on this side. These low level Edomites are gonna die here in Babylon, the Great America, okay. And the other nations that escape, they're gonna be the first fruits of slavery, man, okay. The thirteen global banking families, all right. The illuminated families, they're gonna be the first fruits of slavery. Your queen over there and her family, so called queen, all right. Queen Elizabeth, she celebrated uh seventy years of. 70 years of her ring, all right, and I'm quite sure you all seen that video when he when he's playing with flying, there was a chariot flying this, <laughs> all right, flying this to these planes, man, all right, hey, the chairs of the Lord is visiting you devils, man, the eyes of the Lord are upon this place, upon the sinful kingdom, roughly paraphrasing, man, so hey, we about to get the hell up out of here, man, and you devils are finished, man, and you know it, okay, all right, uh, let's see, anything else I had? No, that's pretty much it. I'll be in the lesson here, man. So, Lord, when I pray, this lesson was edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Bashmi Al Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the elders, the apostles, a great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and citations goes to the whole for let that scatter abroad. See you with another lesson soon, Lord, one link, Kwam Yashem Rangashem, a wom, wild, bop, a ball, about a wom, ETA, a bop, a ball. Boom! Till next time I say Sean Wong, Sean Wong.